What's up everyone, welcome back. Today I'm making a buffalo chicken blue cheese spicy and sweet hot sauce puff pastry situation on a stick, working title. It's gonna have roasted chicken, it's gonna have sweet and spicy hot sauce. It's also gonna have something that I've never even had before, sliced blue cheese. And to wrap everything together, I'm gonna coat it in some hot honey and then dip it in some tangy blue cheese sauce. Let's get on with the recipe. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is take this pre-roasted chicken, easily found at almost every single grocery store on the planet, and rip the entire thing apart so that I can combine it with other ingredients. Now this might get a little gruesome, so I'm apologizing in advance. Oh, it's pretty. First rip off the legs. Ooh. The thing with this is, I don't necessarily need the skin, but I want it, so we're gonna use all of it. If you are feeling up to it and you wanna recreate this recipe, don't throw out the bones. Throw them on a sheet pan, hit them in the oven, roast those bones hard, and then make a stock out of it. Things you could do with the skin is flatten it out, make some chicken skin chips, which we might do. Again, I'm just putting all the meat in the bowl and then I'm gonna rip it apart even further. Here is our uh, bowl of chicken. Now, as you can see, there's bigger pieces in here, and the idea is to spread it along uh, a piece of puff pastry. So I really gotta get it into smaller chunks. You know, there was once a time in my life when I was single digit old, six to be exact, and my mom made me a tuna fish sandwich for kindergarten. And I ate that tuna fish sandwich, and there was a bone in it. And now I'm traumatized. And the reason the only thing I don't eat is tuna from a can is because of you, mom and that bony tuna fish sandwich. Why am I talking about this and talking about chicken? If I pulverize this chicken, it's gonna resemble tuna and give me PTSD. So I'm ripping it apart with my hands. It's actually a real story, it's true. There's always something. My mom's always like, why don't you like tuna? And, I, and you know what, it's just tuna fish. I'll eat raw tuna, I'll eat seared tuna, no problem. All right, so we have the perfectly shredded and pulverized chicken. There is some substance to it. There is a little bit of texture and that's totally okay. Once I make the puff pastry sandwiches, you're gonna see, I'm gonna press everything down. Now, before uh, I get rid of this, I'm gonna add more flavor to it via some buffalo sauce. Now that might not be enough, but have no fear. I have a brand new bottle. On top of the uh, buffalo sauce, I was thinking, let's add a little bit more creaminess. So into that goes some room temperature cream cheese. This is me playing with my food. It's very too late. It's freaking me out. Cream cheese, red hot, shredded roasted chicken. I'm gonna set this aside and make the sauce for the inside of the puff pastry. I don't wanna just do red hot. I kinda wanna combine the red hot with a little Worcestershire, some honey, and some butter. So to make this sauce, we're gonna combine salted butter. Now as soon as the butter is melted, I'm gonna turn off the heat, add some honey, red hot, and Worcestershire sauce. This is good. It's still hot, so I'm gonna throw it in the fridge. What that's gonna do, it's gonna cool it down, thicken it up, but furthermore, when I use it to paint over the puff pastry, it's not gonna to be too hot and compromise the puff pastry. Now comes the fun part. Using some puff pastry, two sheets, preferably the same exact size. Okay, now the first one is where I'm gonna lay out the sauce, okay? Then the cheese, then the chicken. But before we do any of that, this is a burger blue cheese. It's intended to put on top of burgers. I've never seen this before. It's quite interesting to me because I don't know how it's gonna melt, right? It smells like blue cheese, looks like blue cheese. Can it simply just be a thin cut slice of blue cheese or is it some sort of melty cheese mixed in? There's only one way to tell and that's to cook it. But before I do that, let's taste it. Just tastes like regular blue cheese. Let's get that sauce out and start Bob Rossing this puff pastry. I get to flex my painting brush skills. Look at these strokes. I'm a good stroker, Jeff. I stroke well. Now, 
whatever's left over, which is a tremendous amount, is gonna be perfect as a dipping sauce. So I'm gonna save this and place it in a ramekin later on. But for now, let's add the chicken. No, the cheese, I'm silly. Guys, now, before I put the chicken on, I feel like this blue cheese needs to be kissed not by me, certainly not by Jeff, but by more buffalo hot sauce. It's just like blending in there. And I add a thin layer or a, you know, a decent sized layer of this buffalo chicken mixture. Very delicate. The puff pastry has all the things on top of it. Now I gotta close it out by adding the other piece of puff pastry on top. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not sealing the pockets or anything. I'm really just pressing it together and then slicing it into strands. All right, so here's the deal. I'm gonna cut one inch, more or less, slices. You know, I should be using a pizza cutter. Why am I not using a pizza cutter, Jeff? I'm stupid. All right, now the idea is Fold it over like that, then fold it over like that, then fold it over one more time to create this design. It's a lot of chicken, might have added too much, but here we are. Then stick it through a skewer. Now it might not look like much to you right now, or it might look like everything. The idea is the puff pastry will grow along the skewer, making it long, right? So I'm just gonna place it down like so. All right, now before putting these in the oven, you know, I said I had more buffalo sauce and thus gonna paint some over each one of these just to add more buffalo flavor, buffalo sauce, honeyness, all that goodness. These go in the oven 425 for 15 minutes. In the interim, I'm gonna make a blue cheese dipping sauce. Blue cheese sauce, at least for this one, has crumbled blue cheese, sour cream, Worcestershire sauce, and a little little bit of buttermilk. This thing looks awesome. It smells intense. I'm looking at it and maybe, just maybe I added a little too much chicken. Not like it's gonna make a difference. Let's crack into this and see what's good. Puff pastry is cooked perfectly. I noticed that the blue cheese slices don't melt like a mozzarella, and I'm okay with that. The chicken, however, has created a nice kind of crunchiness, but also a softness via the cream cheese and the hot sauce. I gotta eat it. I gotta go in for the bite. Oh, it's hot. Whoa, it's good though. Mmm, the chicken mixed with the hot sauce, mixed with the cream cheese, is giving me such a creamy but chickeny bite. I like it a lot. The puff pastry is kind of soft in between the folds, which was obviously intended. And it's, it's nice with the blue cheese. But I made two dipping sauces, one of which was the spicy and sweet honey hot sauce. So let's go into that first. Oh yeah, it's thickened up because of the butter. Let's go with the bite. Mm. That is an incredible bite. That hot sauce, that sweet hot sauce, even if you don't make these, these puff pastry snacks, make that butter Worcestershire honey hot sauce and put it over anything. That's savory, probably wouldn't be good over cake. Now let's go in with the blue cheese. This is gonna give me a lot of blue cheese flavor given the fact that there's blue cheese on the inside of these puff pastries as well. Personally, I like the sweet hot sauce, but if you like blue cheese, like if you really like blue cheese, I'm talking about like you take a bath in blue cheese, 
then the, the, the blue cheese dipping sauce mixed with the blue cheese slices is your move. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know what the heck I should call this thing. Cause you know, this is working title where I just create something, combining all sorts of things, not really knowing what I should call it. That's where you guys come in. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.